Enjoy the freedom of the new Isis cellular phone from Philips thanks to prepaid cellular. Introducing prepaid cellular from Worldwide Direct. With prepaid cellular phone cards, there's no Got monthly it? bills. Take the phone just in case. Thank you. And no contract, no credit check, and no deposit. In a storm watch, we want to show you where we have a few thunderstorms this evening. Not a lot of severe weather, but we'll update you on that in just a moment. But we want to start our storm watch with a look at the tropical update, and we'll be telling you about a new tropical storm. Steve Lyons is standing by. Well, thank you, Jill. Some good news uh, in the tropics for the tropical update time for the Atlantic Basin, and some new news in the Pacific about a new tropical storm, Georgette. Let's look at the large-scale picture here and see what's going on this afternoon. We've been noticing earlier a couple of uh, frontal boundaries up here to the north. Not much uh, in the way of development there. They're up in the mid-latitude westerlies and pushing off the coast of uh, North America. No development possible there. The Gulf of Mexico, we have a band of showers and a little more intense shower activity moving toward the coast of Mexico. And we have a tropical wave in the Caribbean. And out here, we've been looking at a low-pressure system that's been moving to the west at about 15 miles per hour. And farther out, we have some tropical waves that have been moving off the coast. Let's have a look at the latest here. Here comes another batch of heavy thunderstorms. Some of this is squall line activity and not necessarily tropical wave every time. So when you see these big batches of thunderstorms, there's no guarantee that that's a tropical wave. Could actually be just a band of, or, of strong weather or squall line that happens this time of year. The tropical wave that had moved off the coast is still over here just to the southwest of the Cape Verde Islands. And you can see in the mid-levels, it's way up here to the north, so that the system is tilting to the north with height, and that is not uh, conducive for development at all, so we're not too worried about it yet. It's a long way from land, so we'll watch it as it moves across the Atlantic Basin. You can track it with us here at the Weather Channel. Now, we had been looking at another feature. That's this circulating feature right here that's down in the intertropical convergence zone. It's actually on the extreme western side of a trough of low pressure in the tropics. It continues to push almost due west. No real development signs have been shown in the last six to 12 hours. And you can see the south coast, uh, the northeast coast of South America right here. So this is gonna impact uh, the coast here in another six to 12 hours and right along the coast. It's not completely dead yet, but uh, we'll keep an eye on it. But it's definitely gonna have some interaction with the northeast coast of South America. Over here, most of this deep thunderstorm activity is ill-organized and not of any concern just yet. Now, as we go out in here to the Caribbean, we've had a very, very beautiful day. Some of these showers have just developed here pretty much uh, in the last three to six hours. This band of shower activity has been associated with a very persistent tropical wave that's mo moved through the Caribbean Sea and continues to march toward the Yucatan Peninsula. No significant development associated with it, although this area is a lot more favorable overall for development than is the Central Caribbean. Now keep in mind, uh, the Gulf of Mexico being a nice, uh, nice weather there, the Caribbean, you don't see anything out there, but just, just remember that uh, you're not safe anywhere on the U.S. east or south coast, or Gulf Coast, because the strike frequencies indicate that the entire coastline is susceptible to tropical cyclones. Of course, some more susceptible to others. The areas in red here, you can see, a strike once every four to six years, the blues every 21 years or longer. So up here, very rare but you must be prepared at all times. Now, out in the Pacific, we have a new tropical storm, Georgette. Here are the latest coordinates, 12.6 north, 111 west. It's about 710 miles south of Cabo San Lucas, and uh, winds are now up to about 45 miles per hour. It's moving to the west, northwest of 10, away from the coast, and that's good news. Here's the latest picture of it. Looks pretty good here. Uh, big, central, dense overcast of deep thunderstorm activity. It's moving a little bit slower than it had the last uh, t 6 to 12 hours, so the track is a little less certain than it was out this way, but moving slowly toward the northwest, away from land. We can see a little bit bigger picture here on what else is going on in the, in the uh, Pacific here. Not much else behind it. Here's Georgette. We'll keep monitoring it for you. Stay tuned to the Weather Channel for the latest track positions if you're a hurricane tracker yourself. Now let's get back to Jill and the severe weather across the United States.
Okay, thanks, Steve. We, again, don't have a whole lot of severe weather, but we have a few reports here and there. We have this one front that's been pressing through the northeast, and that's triggered a few thunderstorms this afternoon. There's a lot more of them here in the south, and actually back into Texas. Yeah, Texas getting some rain again, so that's been a welcome change. Uh, actually, a fair amount of heavier rain crossing the New York Thruway right now around the Utica, uh, Utica area in Rome. Hartford getting some rain showers, a couple thunderstorms here as well. And Hunterdon County, you can't really even see it very well here because of where New York is located, but there is a severe thunderstorm warning that is still in effect for just about another 10 to 15 minutes. Otherwise, kind of quiet through Philadelphia, through D.C., and as you can see, there's a closer look. That's that one cell. We'll get a look at a few more radars, and we'll look at your forecast as well on Weather Center next. Showers linger in parts of the Northeast and into New England. How long will it last? We'll look at conditions there and nationwide on Weather Center after your local forecast. To stop a madman on a mission of destruction. Millions will die. They'll drown. Burn. We need a lady who's lethal. What did you have in mind? Nothing too messy, I hope. And a hero. John Steed. And I guess the closest spot was San Diego, California. It's been very quiet along the Atlantic seaboard and Gulf Coast so far. Hi, I'm Dave Schwartz with this edition of Stormwatch, where we start with the tropical update. And checking the Atlantic Basin, we find that still, if you have plans to go to the beach along the East Coast, Gulf Coast, or head down to one of the resorts here in Mexico, South America, into the Caribbean, Mother Nature is not putting the squeeze on us anytime soon. And that's great news. We're just getting into the, beginning to get into the heart of the hurricane season, and there is still nothing on the horizon. Wonderful. Here in the Gulf of Mexico and Caribbean, we are virtually weather free with a couple of exceptions. We'll get into those in just a second. Here along the intertropical convergence zone, there are, there are a couple of areas of disturbed weather I'd like to get into with you. And another one that has just moved off the African coast. And uh, we can see a little swirl to the low clouds. That's way out here. That's what's just moved off of Africa. There we are. And that's another look at it. And that's right up here. So far, no shower activity with it, moving over cooler waters. But down here along the intertropical convergence zone, that's where we find showers. But nothing is really holding together or persisting. We're seeing no low-level swirls, and that's great news. We've been keeping an eye on this disturbance as it's moved to the west at about 15 or 20 miles per hour. And this one, as it moves into South America, can you see this brown right in here? That's the northeast coast of Brazil actually, and into Guyana and Suriname. And it appears as if this disturbance is just going to move in over land before it gets a chance to organize. So out here in the tropical Atlantic, all is quiet except for a few showers right along, at, well, to the north, about 8 or 10 degrees north of the equator. So it's quiet. Great news. Closer to home, it's even quieter. There have been a few tropical waves or these are very, these are almost fetal tropical disturbances. These can develop further and further, but they're not. They're just waves, they're just upper level disturbances at the surface, a southeast wind here, a northeast wind there, a little bit of convergence, and some showers along a line. That's pretty much what you see there, another one there, another one there. But they're also moving west into Central America, and once those move in over land, that is it. There's another tropical wave up here, but west winds aloft are shearing that apart. So, that is just the great news from the tropical department here at the Weather Channel. So, this is the time to prepare yourself for the inevitable. Because it's not going to stay this quiet for the entire hurricane season. That's almost guaranteed. As a matter of fact, here in central and south Florida, parts of the Outer Banks and here in Louisiana, we get hit with hurricane force winds, the rain and the storm surge that go along with all that once every four to six years. Matter of fact, just about everybody here on the East Coast and the Gulf Coast needs to be aware that at one time or another, a hurricane, tropical storm, is going to have an impact on you. So now, while it's quiet, is the time to get everything planned. The evacuation route, where's that? What do we do if we have to board up the house? What do we do if the power goes out? Check with the Emergency Management Association, the local Red Cross. They can give you all the information you need. That's the tropical Atlantic, quiet for now. Here in the Pacific, well, it's another story. 
We're all the way up to the G storm, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, our seventh named tropical storm in the Pacific season. This is tropical storm Georgette, followed, uh, following our tropical storm Frank, that's still a low-level swirl up here. 50 mile per hour maximum sustained winds on Georgette as it moves northwest at six miles per hour, pretty much paralleling the coast out here. This is forecast to, inc to uh, continue intensifying before maybe weakening a couple of days out. But this one may become a hurricane as soon as tomorrow night when I see you again. Estimated pressure 1,000 millibars on this thing. You can see the pulsing. Those are the showers near the center of circulation. And can you see the counterclockwise swirl near the center? Right in here, there's no eye yet, obviously. But you can see that counterclockwise classic swirl. If this becomes a hurricane, the swirl will be, we'll just see the outflow. We won't be able to see down this far into it. Here's a color enhanced look at it. Really hasn't exploded over the last six to 12 hours, I think you can see. So there we have it tropical waters and weather quiet in the Atlantic and we've got one area of activity here in the Pacific. Over the United States there's a lot of tropical moisture. As a matter of fact there's been flooding and severe weather in the Tucson area and also in Southern California plus some more heavy rain in the northern plains and southeast. We'll find out where those storms are going on Weather Center. If you had a wet ride on Tuesday, will it be dry for your Wednesday commute? We'll look at current conditions and let you know what to expect on Weather Center after your local forecast. And you're our grand prize winner. Tell them what they've won, Jay. Okay, Don. You're going to Orlando's best vacation value, Kissimmee St. Cloud. Ah. Experience the magic of a Walt Disney World Resort, including all new Disney's Animal Kingdom. Visit Universal Studios Florida, SeaWorld, and stay in great accommodations, too. All of Orlando's fun is yours in Kissimmee St. Cloud. And you can be a winner, too.